Hey everybody, welcome back to the homestead. This is Kevin with Living Traditions Homestead. I came out this morning to a check on our broiler chickens and realized that something has busted its way into the cages and has killed a couple of the chickens. So it's time to do something about it. So about a week ago we had something bust into one of the chicken tractors and uh, was able to kill one of the chickens. Um, I thought it was because I had the tractors all the way back by the woods where it's really dark and probably just, you know, there's a lot more animals back there. So I moved them up uh, closer to the house in the barn thinking that that would solve the problem and for about a week we didn't have any more problems. But then I came out today and realized that something had once again gotten one of the chickens. So uh, we can't have that going on, uh, so it's time to do something about it. We're going to fix them, and I'm going to show you exactly uh, how I plan on fixing it. I'm assuming it's because we are just uh, using just chicken wire, so we're going to need to put something else on there to make sure that the chickens stay safe. So let's go. I'll show you what we're going to do, and we're going to get these things fixed up. So here's the tractors, and again, I have them in a pretty, you know, well-lit area and an area where... You know, there's quite a bit of movement. I mean, not at the, you know, not in the middle of the night, but it's an area that, you know, we're, we're in and out of a lot. But you can see right down there, hopefully you can see it on the video. There's quite a bit of blood down there. And you can see where something, I mean, I'm guessing I'm, you know, probably 99% sure it's a raccoon. And there wasn't much evidence of anything actually being, I had to count the chickens, but then when I looked closer, I did notice there are some feathers here on the ground and somewhere there was just a little piece of some guts that I could find. So one definitely got taken out of the tractors uh, the ones that are still in there seem fine. You know, the problem with, with these chickens is, A, they're not, they're not super fast by any means. And they also don't, I mean, when they sleep at night, they sleep, you know, right up against the edge of these. And I'm sure if a raccoon sneaks up here pretty slowly and quietly, by the time these chickens even realize that anything's going on, it's already got one, because it can reach through this uh, chicken wire. So my plan is going to be to go to the hardware store today and get some hardware cloth with a much smaller opening, uh, probably half inch by half inch holes. And I will put that on these tractors uh, from the bottom up probably about two feet to about yeah, maybe about here. And we'll see if that can solve the problem because that way the only only place that there'll be just bare chicken wire will be at the very top and I don't think even a raccoon could reach from the top all the way down to the ground, so. All right, I'm back from town and I got uh, the uh, hardware cloth. Uh, they didn't have two foot uh, rolls like I was hoping the two foot tall rolls so uh, they only had three foot rolls so um, but it's the half inch hardware cloth so the whole the squares are half inch by half inch and each roll is 10 feet long so I had to get five rolls which ended up costing me about sixty dollars which is the money we are expected on spending but uh, we can't continue to lose chickens every night so uh, it's something that we need to just uh, suck it up and do so I'm going to get started on this. I'm going to have to take the tarps off the uh, chicken tractors uh, so that I can pull hardware cloth over the whole things. And um, I'll uh, get back with you as I'm making uh, progress on, the, on everything. I'm going to try to attach this along the bottom with my staple gun and then um, attach it to the chicken wire and the um, cattle panels with either hog clips or cage clips. So I'll let you know as I get further along in the process. Okay, so I've got the uh, hardware cloth on two sides of the first tractor 
I'm going to show you a little bit about what I did and why I've kind of changed course as I was doing it. So on the first side, what I did is I, because I thought, oh, I'll conserve some of the hardware cloth, I only really needed to go up two feet, that I will cut it all into two feet sections and then just piece it together so that I have basically three two foot, three sections that go up two feet. It just ended up being way too time consuming. And because today's a Friday, we have the farmer's market in the morning, I really need to get this project done. I can't let it go till tomorrow because I'm afraid something's gonna break in and kill more chickens tonight. So on the second side, what I did is I just used it three feet high, had it go up further, uh, which, you know, is fine. I mean, it's probably even more safe. So on the second side, I just rolled it out and attached attached it three feet tall. And it seems, to, I mean, it was a lot faster. It was like an hour for the first side and 15 minutes for the second side. So I'm going to get back to work. I still need to do the two doors and then I'll move on to the other tractor. And I will let you know when I'm done and show you how everything worked out. One thing that I noticed after I took the tarp off and was able to uh, see the chickens better is there is one that you can see got injured last night. I'm not exactly sure how bad the injuries are. I've seen him eating and drinking, um, but that may change if an infection sets in. Uh, I'll make sure I keep continuing to put apple cider vinegar in their water. I'm actually going to try to pull him out of there and see if I can put some, some type of ointment on his injury or something. Or at least clean it off and see what I can do. So uh, that's it. I'm going to get back to work. Alright, well I've got the first one done and I'm just going to give you a quick walkthrough of what I did. And then I need to get on to the second one because it's starting to get late. I need to get this done before it gets dark. All right, so again, what I did is put this half inch by half inch wire on both sides. I stapled it on the bottom, hog clipped it on the top, and, and in between. I used hog clips instead of the zip ties that I used the first time because I just feel like they're going to be stronger over time. I did run it the entire length. Initially, I thought, well, I probably don't need to run it where the tarp goes. But, you know, if, it, if it's a raccoon or something trying to get in there, they could easily rip that tarp. So I figured it's better off to just do it right the first time than it is to, uh, you know, lose some more chickens. So I'm going to get going on this other one. And hopefully I'll be done before it gets dark. Okay, everybody. I just finished up uh, the chicken tractors. I think they've turned out pretty well. I'm gonna give you a quick walk around and show you exactly what I've done. And I will uh, try to do a follow up here in a few days to uh, let you know how everything has turned out. As you can see, I finished putting the wire all the way around. Again, it's half inch by half inch wire. Put the tarps back in place. I really, really hope that this is going to uh, solve the problem of what I'm sure is raccoons getting in to uh, attack the chickens. I am going to uh, set some traps as well around the property to uh, hopefully catch uh, the raccoon that's uh, getting a little brave. Uh, for the most part, we don't have too many raccoons real close here by the property, uh, we have, I mean, I know we have them back in the woods. I catch them on my trail, trail cameras and things like that that we have out for deer hunting. But uh, for the most part, we don't see too many up in the open pasture area. So I'm thinking there's maybe one, maybe two that have gotten kind of brave and come up this way. I'm going to uh, set some traps and try to catch them. I may even try to come out a few times during the night. Right now, the chicken tractors are in an area that's pretty lit up. So I'm going to uh, probably try to come out a couple times during the night uh, with my gun and just make sure that everything is safe. Uh, but for now, 
I'm hoping that this is going to do the job. Seems like everything is pretty secure. There's absolutely no way that a raccoon could get his foot through these now. And uh, hopefully the chickens can sleep a little safer tonight. So I'm going to call this a video and call this a wrap. It's time to take the food away from the chickens for the night. Again, we feed them 12 hours on, 12 hours off once they get to three weeks old. So they're done eating for the day. It's time for them to go to sleep. Well, hopefully this will take care of the problem and we won't have any more predators uh, getting in and killing our chickens. So, you know, when you live in rural America, out in the country, uh, predators are a big problem. You just have to learn how to deal with them and continue to be one step ahead of them. So if you like this video, I sure hope that you will uh, subscribe to our channel. We put out five videos every week. I hope you'll also share it, comment, uh, let us know your thoughts. Uh, let us know if you've had any trouble with predators on your homestead. Until next time, thank you so much for stopping by today. And God bless. Hey, thank you guys so much for stopping by the homestead today. We do truly appreciate every one of you for wanting to be part of our lives. Uh, we're now going to be putting out five new videos every week, Monday through Friday. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button below. Also, don't forget to check out the videos over here on the side. Thank you so much, and we look forward to seeing you next time back on the homestead. God bless.